The first question we have comes from Valerie Myerson. She's a resident of Charlevoix County, and she has a question about job creation. What are your plans for getting more jobs, more permanent jobs, and more well-paying jobs in our, especially in northern Michigan? So we continue to reach out to our, that local industry to make sure that they're satisfied with what's going on, to make sure that the environment for there is the correct environment, because if manufacturers are paying, you know what happens? The service industry has to be there to take care of those people. We need to fit the education of our children towards the jobs that are available and not being filled. Obviously, there's still a lot of people, though, who are unemployed. How do you make it, how do you attract new businesses to, to your district? I'd rather grow a business internally than spend thousands of dollars reaching out, trying to bring somebody new in when we've already got good industry there, we've already got good service groups that are coming in. So the key really becomes taking care of what you already have. The next question is about pension taxes for teachers, and this comes from Nick Carey in Emmett County. Is there any consideration of a repeal or at least a partial repeal of that pension tax? Yes, it was tough because this was negotiated between uh, the employee and their employer. Uh, but at the same time, that was untaxed income. And basically, we have asked uh, through the tough decisions we had to make here in Michigan at that time to keep us from not going bankrupt. And it was a serious issue. Michigan was in that situation within a couple years' time. If we hadn't made changes, uh, we would have been bankrupt. Would you support a repeal down the road if the state were to get better? Uh, I would take a look at the circumstances at that time and, and consider it. The next question is about minimum wage. Casey Adams from Emmett County wonders if you guys are opposed or in favor of a possible increase. I think that raising the minimum wage for lower middle class Americans, especially those in North Michigan, would help the economy. I just want to know if he supports it or not. What you've really done is you haven't increased the opportunity for more people to go to work. You've decreased it because now you're having to pay more for the employees who are putting out the service that you're trying to sell or the product that you're trying to sell. So it's a detriment, not an asset at all. When do you get to the level where you have to consider, you know, with the rate of inflation on a lot of products that, you know, maybe it's time to increase that wage? Well, <clears throat> You as an employee can do that yourself. You know how you do that? You do that by working better, by working faster, by putting out more product for your employer so that your employer then has more product to sell. And with that, the opportunity then, and your employers realize that. I mean, again, you've got to stay with the employer for more than 15 minutes. You need to stay with that employer for a while to prove to that employer that you're not only willing to work, but you're loyal to him. 